turn your file directly to the server with the program, remote desktop program I use, which is called TeamViewer. It's a free open source program. You can also pay for it if you want a commercial license, which we do not use it for. Now, while it's doing the transfer, we are going to uh, wait, and I'm going to walk you through the process how to install your social network. If you purchase PHP Fox, go ahead and purchase it. Or if you want a free alternative, I'll even tell you the free alternative. It's called uh, Sharetronics.com. Okay, it's almost done transferring. It's a big file. Well, not really too big, but it's transferring, so it'll take a little second or two. So. It's pretty cool once it's done transferring. But, you know, it's, this one is on Wi Fi, and it's transferring from this machine to this machine. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Look at my kangaroo. Alright. But yeah, this is my server. Alright, it's transferred. Now, what you want to do, I don't know if I'm walking everyone through this room, as if you don't know how to do all this. What I'm going to do, we'll say you get everything transferred with flash drive or whatever. We're going to close the remote desktop. One mouse controls both computers. Isn't that cool? There's free software too. It's called, uh, well, Synergy is in the one, but the easier one to use will be Input Director. All right, we're going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it uh, Social Us. Social Us. And once that's done, we're going to... Sorry you can't see this very well, but we're going to go to where it says Upload in the folder. We're just going to copy them. We're not going to directly drag them. Copy, just copy and paste them because that way you always have the original files in case something messes up on them and you want to re-import them. But that's all you basically got to do. I mean, just drag and drop them. Let the thing get done with that. And I'll walk you through the next process. This is from your local machine. If you have to log in with something else, you know, like the, if you have the uh, admin panel thing or whatever they call it, C panel. Oh, there's plenty of videos for that, but I'm just walking you through through your local machine. All right, I'll sit you down here. What you want to do next? You want to go to your website, which mine will be. Mine's going to be jfike.com slash social us. Now, if you don't have your port forwarded, then I will walk you through that process also. All right. Oops. PHP Fox is not installed. Please run the installer. What you want to do next? On that process, after that, oh, you can't see this. Well, you don't really need to see that part. Slash, you just go to type in install. More than likely, it'll take you the installer. All right. Of course, you got to accept the license term and agreements, and include sets.php is missing. Here's the part where people get where I've got confused. All right, you're gonna go to where it says folder include and setting. Now, where it says server set dot php dot new yeah you can't really see it that well but anyway that one right there you just go to rename this and erase the dot new and then you're gonna so let's just say yes and now when you go over here and click refresh it will let you install the next process now the next thing you'll have to do, database host, which is going to be local host. That's if you, like I said, if you're running it off your old server. Database name, we're going to name it social us. After that, you would want to go over here to your server. Go select your server icon, go to phpMyAdmin. If you're running WAMP, you just click and go to PHP My Admin. Create new database. Right there. You type in social us or whatever you want to name your social network. You don't even have to name it whatever you want to name it. Just name it something that you'll know that you don't delete it and that you remember. Create. Click create and that's created. Now most of these you don't even have to have a password. You just type in the root. The main username would be root. 
and there will be no password. But if you want, if you if you know how to create a password, then you already get the advanced part done. Uh, yeah. Once you click install, it's going to take a little bit to install the stuff. But right now you're watching the installation part of PHP Fox, which will be Social Us here in the next few minutes. Like I said, it's going to take a little bit. It, up at the taskbar, it says connecting. And so, uh, installer and all that. So you just let it do its thing. Um, but yeah, I would if you're going to run a server like I do, web server, just run it on a separate machine if you can. Not a lot of people have more than one machine, but if you can, just run it on your separate machine. Now, to do port forwarding, depending on what router you're on, if you're on... I'm going to tell you a name of router that I'm on. It's called Netgear. If you're on Netgear, go to 192.168.0.1, hit enter. Or it's, it's or it could be 192.168.1.1. It could be either one. And for Netgear routers that I use, the password is admin. No, sorry. Username is admin. Password is password. You hit enter and it should log you right in. Once you've logged in, you hear pistol bark. You go to see Netgear, all this. This is yeah. All right. And you see these lists appear. You want to go down to advanced. You see port forwarding. You just select that. Somebody's here. Oh well. And once you do port forwarding, once you go there, you're gonna see. Actually, if you hadn't never done this, you're not gonna see any of this stuff up here. But the port you want to do for your own web server will be port 80. Wherever it's at down there. It's down here somewhere. There it is. And it's on computer number 14. So to get your computer number, you just type in 80 here. Alright, say you want to do port 80. Where's the start port? And then end port. They're both 80. Just do 80, 80. Then you do your computer number. And then you get your computer number. Go to run. Whoopsie, wrong one. All right, I'm gonna do it on this one. All right, you go. To get to run, the quicker way is hold the start menu and hit R. Type in CMD. Hit enter, and you're gonna type in IP config. You're going too fast. I'm sorry. IP config. Hit enter, and you're gonna get a lot of this crap. Don't worry about it. Just scroll up if you get it. And the computer number for this one, where's it at? There it is. You see 192.168.0.19, the very top one. That's the one you want. And then uh, once you get that, you just enter that in on your port with the port you want, which is 80, on the website, and it'll run off that machine. So this is still installing. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I gotta connect. Isn't that nice? But there's my router. Of course, I do need to start changing my passwords on the router anyway, but nah, no one really cares about it. There's my computer stuff. Yeah, I've kind of got me a newer server. I think, you know, I, I think I'm going to keep this. I may not even sell it. My brother's wanting it, but unfortunately, I guess I'm just going to keep it. I'm not even going to sell it to him because, well, it's my server. <laughs> so, I mean, I told him $100, $150, $150, but it's worth more than that. But, you know, he's my brother. I don't even have it for that, but. Um, I may just keep it. It's an older machine, apparently. Apparently, it ran Windows XP. As you can clearly tell, it's not running Windows XP, though. Alright, guys, I'll be back when the installation is finished.